Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today we are in Chesterfield to show you a fantastic development by St. Modwins. So what are the stats on this property? It's called the Beckett and it's a four bedroom beautiful house displayed in a semi-detached formation here and we're just so excited to show you. The size of the property is 12,000 sorry 1,210 square feet and like I said it's a four bed. If that sounds interesting to you stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together and most of all remember all the stuff about pricing description location is all in our description all right so see you in the rest of the tour come inside and welcome home to your new build house so now that the front door is locked and we're inside we're in our hallway here nice sizable hallway they've got no choir matting to the entrance however there's enough space to put your own matting on the floor as we're all used to doing you've got a viewfinder in the front a lockable element and the front door itself is actually a really nice size um they've got a little slot here where they've got the glazed elements bringing in lots of natural light and they're also obscure so they like distort the light so there's a bit of privacy you can't see right through i love that so now that we're in this gorgeous hallway oh ignore that so we, we're now in this area um and your, your staircase is there taking you straight to the first floor but before we go in too far um Comment below what you think of this type of entrance and what you think about this arrangement of coming straight into there. So right, so I love the flooring in this space. As you can see, it's luxury vinyl tiling and I believe they probably carry it out throughout the whole ground floor, but we'll see that more of that later. Again, as you can see, the doors over there, you've got a little nook here for shoe storage, a radiator, consumer unit, and it's sizable. And just before we go into the rest of the property, let's touch on the doors and the frames. We've got a square profile with a beveled detail, a little bit of a gap, a shadow gap detail. That continues into your skirting, which I'll scoot around and show you. And then, so that's pretty much matching the skirting profile. And then your doors are high gloss, panelled in a more traditional style with your brush chrome handles. And I am hungry. So that's the hallway for you. Let's come to the rest of the home. So into the home, you straight into the open plan layout of this house. So if you love an open plan layout, you're going to love this house. If you don't, then you're going to consider ways of portioning out the rooms but the open plan element is why I can stand all the way back here and keep going and we're still in the living room and connected together so this living room area is very spacious I love the way it's been staged with a two-piece there in front of our generous window facing the front and we've also got a large sofa there and another area there for a sofa they've staged it so that this is our feature wall in a decorative sense but this is our wall where we'd have our tv point our media wall essentially Behind the media wall, we've got the staircase on the other side, but underneath the staircase, we've got this built-in storage store here. It is a good size. Sometimes I have to walk in. I am five foot one inches, AKA one meter, 55 centimeters, and there's enough room there and more. And they've continued the flooring in there and you've got a light. So it is a very versatile space. And I really like that. So that's that space. Um, okay, guys, I'm not going to rush through too much. Let's actually enjoy the staging because it's pretty nice in here. Um, but yeah, it's a rectangular sh um, shaped room with beautiful wallpaper, space for end tables, and it's up to you how you lay out the space. And also there's two pendant lights on the ceiling. So this kind of archway they've done hints at potential modifications i don't know if the developer will let you put in a glazed door here but um i think it shouldn't be an issue if you were to retrofit that in in, in your own kind of time after purchasing the property you've got your dining area here with an eight seater an eight uh, in an eight seater arrangement you've got a radiator here and you've got double doors facing the rear garden the double doors are UPVC and they're white on both sides. Chrome handles, of course, are standard. You've got your paving slabs, your lawn, all the other planting is staged and your typical house will just have lawn and paving slabs. So just bear that in mind. This dining area leads very nicely into your kitchen area. So this um, property actually shows you probably what your typical choices would be with, with minimal upgrades. So for a typical choices, this still looks very, very, very good. You've got your non-integrated 
kitchen. So you've got mm. your non-integrated fridge by Zanussi. Do I need to open a fridge by Zanussi? I believe so. Oh no, is it on the other side? <laughs> That's quite awkward, but yep. It's non-integrated, so you would probably choose to put the opening side on that side. Just bear that in mind. You've got your laminate work top done in a beautiful wood effect. It's a very, very good quality laminate. And bear in mind, they match the silicon to the color of the laminate, so it doesn't pop out like a white silicon going in that joint, which makes it look larger and it flows between the different angles. You've got an upstand as well, substantial height, um, which is great. And you've got your one and a half bowl by Leisure and your your sink as well your mixer tap your, your mixer tap on non-integrated appliances obviously i'm not going to touch on those that's up to you storage underneath they're not on soft closers because again soft closing hinges are usually an upgrade oh actually yeah they're not on soft closers you've got your drawers and it's done in this beautiful kind of warm gray toned high gloss finish with a j pull that's the j a j pull handle and then you've got here your four burner by Zanussi and your stainless steel splashback and your extract fan also by Zanussi. And then you've got your oven here as well by Zanussi put directly beneath your hob. You know, in the integrated options, normally you have the option to have this built in at high level so you're not bending down. But it's good to know that you do get a double oven option in the standard spec. So here you go. You've got the cabinets there. As you can see, there are still some extras here. So guys, you must check with your developer to make sure that what you see and what you're getting is not an extra. And if it is, you can budget that in, in advance and be aware of all those costs. So the kitchen flows onto this space, which is a semi-utility, uh, semi-boot room, I think. There's storage here as well. As you can see, I like that. So they're really using the space really well and it's completely closable off from the kitchen. So if you have like a washing machine and a dryer, you can close them off and they can run in here, keep the noise out from the rest of the open plan space. And then you've got your worktop here and that laminate as well with a square edge, beautiful detail carried on across. And by the way, for a laminate worktop, this is absolutely fantastic. The wood grain appears so realistic and it's not like a repetitive pattern that we're used to seeing. So it's a really high quality laminate. This utility room, before I go out, has an external door which leads to the front drive. So you can bring in washing and uh, basically clothes, um, cl uh, groceries as well from the outside, from the front drive straight into here, which is really convenient. And then it leads onto your downstairs toilet. So this arrangement, like I've said before, it's, it's, e it's like Marmite, you either like it or you don't. So, you know, this toilet here at the back of the, pro um, the house is quite traditional for English homes, but some people aren't really fond of it. However, it is a massive bonus to have a downstairs toilet leading off your open plan kitchen space. And you have your window facing the back there. It's frosted, so it's great for obscuring views. You've got your radiator, a sink by ideal standard, and then you've got your toilet by ideal standard. And then they've squeezed in the boiler here to keep it out of the utility space because you do have space in here. Would be nice to cover that up so it's not visually obstructive. If it was me, I probably would have put the boiler on that one wall and then completely hidden it away in some beautiful mirrored kind of cabinetry however um that's something you can probably add to your diy list isn't it so coming back into this space let's get ready to go to through the rest of the ground floor and then upstairs so as you can see the flow through the home is very good with the minor thing being whether you love or don't love the toilet being at the end of the ground floor plan and then as we flow back, we are now back in the hallway. So let's go upstairs. So as we're going upstairs, you can see carpeted treads. You can see a more standard handrail. It's a wooden handrail painted in white gloss on one side. And then you get winding stairs that turn round and lead you straight onto your landing area. Again, you've got the handrails here on the landing. As you can see, they're done in that beautiful clear varnish really letting the wood kind of shine through as well for our mystery door is going to be our services cupboard our hot water cylinder all that stuff that powers all your hot water and keeps the house running you've got your first bedroom here staged as a kids room with two twin beds <laughs> in the long run this would end up being a 
fabulous king size bedroom with one bed in the middle, bedside table. You have more than enough room for two sets of wardrobes. And in terms of rooms in new build houses, I really think this is a fantastic um, option that you can fit into twin beds and also convert it as the kids grow into a king size bedroom. You've got a window facing the back garden, overlooking your garden, radiator underneath the window. And I think that's pretty much it for this room. Let's go to the next room here. This is a single room staged as a home office. Very spacious for a home office. You can see the, the table stops there, but you can really continue all the way across if you decide to move the radiator under the window. So they've put the radiator there. You've got your window facing the back again, and that brings in so much light and looks over your garden, which we're just peeking through. And you can see you can probably change this into a single bed with a wardrobe here in the corner. I think the size of this is pretty good. Um, so let's come back into the landing space and let's go to the next space on this level. So as you can see, you've got vinyl, which is typically your standard fitting. And then you've got tiling to the bath enclosure, taken all the way to the top. And then I love this beautiful tile. Um, I've seen this tile before and I really think it's fantastic. It's like a marble effect and a dark grey. It contrasts really nicely with the green paint. You've got your ideal standard bathtub, toilet and sink and a window facing the front of the property. And I like the, the edging strip they've done and how they've continued the tiling onto the sill. That's great. And then let's go into this room. So this is a fantastic uh, king size bedroom with kind of like a hint of the fantastic glazing that we've seen on other properties by scent mod ones so you've got the large almost floor to ceiling uh, window and the side pane there bringing in lots of light to this bedroom we've got a little nook over there which could be your dressing area slash wardrobe area very substantial as you can see there's still space either side of the wardrobe if you wanted to have a larger wardrobe or a huge kind of almost semi walk-in wardrobe area. But that's not it. <laughs> we are on the first floor, right? There's more, as you can see. So let's go up to the second floor of this property. So let's walk up these winding staircases, which are carpeted, so it's nice and quiet. There is a radiator also in the, stair in the staircase. And then this takes you to this space. And this is your feature space. So this is going to be the best room, essentially. Your primary room that spans the full length and width of this floor. So coming into here, you've got a large super king bed. I like the fact that it's set low. Visually, it makes the space feel even bigger to set beds lower. You've got this walk-in wardrobe area with a roof light there, and it's openable. That roof light is by key light windows with a handle, so you can open that and bring in lots of ventilation and obviously it functions as a um, source of natural light. I love the fact they've taken the storage all the way to the top. But again, guys, this is going to be an extra. If you don't want to fit it in, then you can have the developer omit this. So you just have this wall and the space for you to do what you wish in that angle. That's fantastic, but I like the way it leads off the main bedroom. So let me just go over here for a second. There's a generous space over here where a dresser could go or a TV point. It's opposite the bed, so it's up to you. I don't know if you're TV people or not, or reading people at bedtime, but it's a fantastic spot there. You just ask the developer to put the TV point there and then you're good to go. You've got a little door here and I just, this is gonna be additional storage. So. This is where the Christmas decorations go, assuming that you've only got, I don't know, a couple of Christmas decorations. And it goes all the way up. I'm serious, guys. It goes further up, all the way up. So all of this space behind this wall is additional storage. So obviously manoeuvring the Christmas tree in there wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> so that's closed off. That's that door there. And then you've got a window here facing the front of the property. It's a dormer window, which is why the ceiling is lower. So this part, kind of protrudes out of the roof outside and obviously you'll see the clips of the outside of the house and it's got a window facing the front so you can monitor both sides of the property. I love the flow. It's so quiet up here and it's super warm and bright. And then the final room is this ensuite. It's a three-piece ensuite with natural light coming from another key light window above. I love the double, well, the shower cubicle, which is quite wide. And then you've got your fittings 
and your sanitary wear. The shower itself is by Ideal Standard as well. So that's really good. And then the drain is JT. Um, so I like to point out the, the finishes because some people are very particular on these. You've got a radiator. So again, you can see this is more likely what you're going to get as standard. Radiator here, vinyl flooring, skirting boards, tiling half height. The half height tiling may not be standard. Again, it really depends on speaking to the developer. You've got a shaver socket in a white plastic finish rather than your chrome. That's probably going to be standard. And I think that pretty much is a nice addition to the space. So with that being said, I think our tour is coming to an end. And if you stay this far, don't rush off. Hold, pause for a second. The greatest gift you can give us right now is a like to tell the algorithm you really like this video so more people like you can view it and it'll be recommended to more people and then also comment so that we see the things that we might have missed that you might have spotted let us know and we'll try and get back to you but most of all subscribe so that when our next video comes up you get a little bell notification and then we see you then so until then bye